to peep 31. I want to say happy 4th of July. Did you know, even though it's July 5th, that it's 4th of July weekend? How exciting. Happy birthday, America. Now, normally on 4th of July, you might grill out hamburgers and hot dogs. Well, today I've got my lighter, I've got my grill, and I'm going to be grilling out balloons. Doesn't that sound yummy? No, it doesn't. Not really. Of course, I'm not going to be just doing that to eat it. I have an enjoyable point because what is this? Beep! Pastor Eric's enjoyable points. So I want to start by taking off these glasses, which don't help me, by going back to the beginning. The beginning of what? Beginning of the Bible. Now, do you remember in the beginning, God created the world, everything in it, but he also created Adam and Eve and he put them in a beautiful garden and everything was wonderful. They had everything they needed and they had a perfect relationship with God. It was amazing. But they were given one rule that while in the garden they could have whatever they wanted except the fruit of one tree. Now if you also remember in the garden there was a serpent and he was very tricky and very evil. And the snake found Eve, and he began asking her questions, which put doubts in her mind about what God had told her. It was something like this. You see this candle? You see the light burning? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it fun to watch? Yes. Well, it was sort of like that with the fruit. Eve saw the fruit, and it looked so yummy and shiny and juicy. And she couldn't resist, and she ate the fruit. And then she got Adam to eat the fruit. It was no good. So they sinned. You know that, right? Well, what would you say were the sins that they committed by eating the fruit in the garden? Any ideas? What would you call it? Well, one of those sins might be the sin of disobedience. They disobeyed God. Yes. Another one might mean they were selfish. They were only thinking about themselves, what I want, what I need. Got to light it again. So they were disobeying and they were selfish. Oh, my goodness. What else do you think was the sin that they committed? Well, God had told them what to do. They didn't do it. They disobeyed. They were only thinking of themselves. <coughs> they may have sought... I don't need God. I can do it myself. I don't have to listen to Him. Well, that's not true. Those were all sins. And then you know what happened? God came to see them. And you know what they did? They tried to hide because they were ashamed. They were embarrassed for God to find out what they had done. Not good. So their perfect relationship with God had been ruined. Do you see these balloon pieces? Could they put their relationship with God back together? Can we put these balloon pieces back together? No. There's no way we can put these balloons together, and there's no way that Adam and Eve could repair their relationship with God. God was going to have to do it. Do you remember what he did? Well, I'm going to read you about it in John chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish or die, but have eternal life. So, God didn't want us to die or to be separated. He didn't want our relationship with him to be messed up. And so he sent Jesus to restore our relationship with God and give us eternal life. What do we have to do? Well, the verse says we have to believe in Jesus, accept his free gift and our relationship with God, will no longer be broken. It's going to look something like this. If we have Jesus, then this is what happens. What? Did the balloon pop? No, it has not popped. It's different. Why is it different? I'm still holding it there. The flame is hitting it, but nothing is happening. 
amazing. Isn't that amazing? Why is that? Well, I want to read a verse to you that might help you to understand. In <coughs> excuse me, John chapter 7, verse 38, it says, Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Well, when we have Jesus, he restores our relationship with God. Does that mean that we don't sin anymore? Absolutely not. Followers of Jesus, Christians, we still sin. And it still hurts us. But it doesn't break our relationship with God anymore. It doesn't cause this. We still stay intact because we are forgiven through Jesus. Now, we still have to confess our sins. We still have to try our best not to sin. But we can know that with Jesus, we are forgiven because God has restored that relationship. Well, how did I do it with this balloon? Well, this balloon has water in it, and the water kept it from popping, just like Jesus is the living water that keeps us from being destroyed or separated from God when we sin. Pretty amazing, pretty cool. So, our job is to make sure that we accept the gift of Jesus, that we have Jesus in our lives and we follow him and we try our best to stop sinning. But when we do, we know that we're forgiven because of Jesus. Will you pray with me so that we can always remember this amazing truth? God, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you that when Adam and Eve messed up big, that you fixed it all through Jesus. I thank you that when we mess up big, you fix it through Jesus. Lord, help us to trust Jesus. Help us to accept Jesus and to stop sinning through the help of Jesus and his Holy Spirit. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pretty cool. If you want to try this at home, make sure you get your parents' help because fire is dangerous. So I'm going to cover that up. I hope you enjoyed the grilled balloons for the 4th of July. Now, have you noticed right here beside Carl, he has a lovely friend. Do you see? I believe that this new friend is a girl, but this girl, like Carl, needs a name. Do you think you could help me come up with a name for Carl's friend, just like you helped me come up with Carl's name? So what I want you to do is I want you to email me what you think her name should be. And this time, we're going to vote. So you're going to have all these names, and you're going to choose which one you want her name to be. But you've got to send me those names. Today is Sunday, so send them to me by Friday so that we can begin voting on which name is the best. I look forward to finding out what Carl's friend's name is. Thanks for joining me. I can't wait to see you. Goodbye. Bye.